Hey guys, welcome back to Genji Clans. Uh, you can probably hear my newborn hiccuping over in the other part of the room. Uh, you may be able to see the blue marker my toddler got on the desk last night while we were at a Zoom class. Um, and that's just what life is right now. So let's take a look at my planner and what I've been doing for the last week or so. This is what I have set up for this week. And I have to say, I love it. Um, this makes me happy. I like when you do a little bit of lettering and it turns out well, you gotta love it. Um, I threw down a tiny piece of washi and it's just making my day. Uh, so here's the whole section. I, it has, it's a new month, right? So I'm considering this like my first month of October. New month, new cover photo with my adorable little girls. I've been looking forward to being able to print that. Um, and so previously I had, and I still have it in here actually, I'll show you. This was my whole September section, which I'm going to pull out now. Um, cover photo, and then I had this daily opposite my week. So this was like the outline of what a typical day was supposed to look like while I was on maternity leave. And so I had to keep moving my weeks back um, to the back of the section so that I could keep this in the front. Um, but that is done for September, and I'm throwing out the whole concept of a daily schedule entirely. Um, and so instead I have room on this side for a general task list. So at the beginning of the week, I write down all the things I'd like to get done. Oh boy. I don't know if you heard that. She just pooped. Um, <laughs> I write down all the things I'd like to get done. This is like the content stuff I'm working on and then just anything and everything. Um, and then I go through and I try to add it to a day, like ahead of time. Um, if it's something specific, like I change our toddler's toothbrush to a fresh one at the beginning of every month because we can because the ones we get are buy for a dollar at walmart and they're like multicolored and cute and yeah why not change your mind every month so she's due for a new one on the first so i put that on the first um but other than that i just sort of add things like the night before or whenever i get around to it um and i do need to man i need to get better about doing these things. I didn't pull this out all day yesterday, Monday. Um, I'm filming this on Tuesday. I didn't pull it out all day Monday. Um, I added this baptism class to my daily after we'd already done it. We found out about it on Sunday. And so I didn't actually pull it out much on Sunday either. I brought it with us to church because I needed a spare check, which I should remember to put more spare checks in there. Um, so we could tie the church and then pretty much didn't come or didn't pull it out again for the rest of the day. So I'm not using it a whole ton, you know. Um, I do have here in the front also the monthlies. I can pull out September's because it's pretty much done. There's one task left and it's already on my weekly to-do list. So I'll just go ahead and pull that out now. Archive it with the weeklies. And here's October. All fresh and beautiful. Um, as I said, I, I'm filming this. It's not even October yet, uh, but it will be when this goes out. Look at that. I'm really excited. So the um, the hospital that we gave birth at, the system, I guess, um, they have a mother baby, ca or they did. Previous, when the world existed, they had a mother baby cafe, which was basically um, a lactation consultant slash mom group thing. Uh, it was led by a lactation consultant and you would come and you would meet other moms of newborns um, up through whatever age, really. Like they don't stop you from coming. It's free. You can just drop in. I used to go frequently when I could, probably once a week or so on average with my, um, my first daughter when I was on maternity leave and I loved it. It's just sort of just a reason to get out of the house for one thing. Um, and they obviously have not been doing that because of COVID, but they're starting up again in October um, as a virtual thing. So the first day will be Thursday the 1st, and I'm really excited. Hopefully it's going to be some of the same people or the same like educators um, who run it and, you know, see if they remember me, if I remember them and all that stuff. I haven't had any issues with breastfeeding so far. It's crazy. I keep looking at like, I have my little um, postpartum kit in the bathroom with like my dermaplast and my tux pads and all that. Um, and in there, I've got my little tube of lanolin and my little tub of nipple butter and I um, haven't touched either. 
I have had no issues so far. It is crazy because compared to my first time where I was like wearing those little gel pads and it was like excruciatingly painful. Yeah, my nipples are doing fine this time and I didn't expect it to be that smooth. I expected it to be easier, but not quite this easy. Um, so she's doing amazing. Hopefully she's also gaining weight. We will find out at the appointment on Friday. Um, and that's pretty much, you know, what it is. I've moved on to a new color scheme. It was pink and purple for last month, as you saw, and I still have some pink here, but now it's moving on to just a generic ball color palette, sort of basically everything that's in this washi tape with the foxes. Um, so we've got the, you know, the red, the yellow, and the orange, the brown, uh, and already all predated. You saw that in the planning ahead monthly everything plan with me video link in the corner. Um, and yeah, I'm really just not planning ahead very much. I'm planning really just like the day before ish, um, plus whatever actual events there are. And then just taking it one day at a time as things go. It's been pretty chill actually, because my husband's here. And so I don't have to worry about like making sure that the toddler's alive because he basically, we sort of man to man, um, defense with, that and he's sort of in charge of making sure that she's ha happy and healthy and fed and I am that for the newborn. Um, so we've been sleeping okay. She did a pretty good job last night, but she has been a little bit colicky. So we're dealing with that. Um, hopefully without too many more interventions, we got the, uh, the free to baby windy, but I haven't used it yet. And I don't know, <laughs> comment below if you've used it. It sounds a little bit terrifying. Um, but also I'm like, I'm not sure because she always scrunches up her face like she's in pain, but I can never really tell if it's like um, burping gas or farting gas that she needs to let go of or if she's just making faces because she's a little grunt monster and she still has the hiccups that she had before the video even started. So um, thank you guys for watching. If you are not yet subscribed, there's a button to do that down below. Um, I've been posting these sort of informal update videos every Thursday and sort of informal baby and life update videos on Sundays. But this next Sunday is going to be my birth story. Um, I filmed it. I got it filmed. I'm just working on editing it. And so that will be ready for you on Sunday. And then soon, soon, probably by the end of October, I feel like I'll be back to like actual structured content a little bit more, but we'll see. Anyway, thanks for sticking around. I appreciate it. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video on Sunday. Get excited. Bye.